Mom, do I have to go to Grandma Dell's again? It's so boring. There's nothing to do and nobody to talk to. And I'm ashamed when my friends ask me where I'm going for the holidays and I have to tell them only to my old grandmother in the country. You know, Gina is going to Europe and Melody Ann is spending all of her holidays in California and Jean Ann is going to her aunt in Trinidad. Mom, even though Grandma Dell has electricity now, she has only a small black and white TV and I end up missing everything for she doesn't want me to watch the late show even on weekends and grandma's house is so small and crowded and dark and she goes around turning off lights and at night grandma smells because she is always rubbing herself with liniment for her arthritis and it's true grandma is in terrible pain sometimes mommy what is going to happen to grandma when she is real old she's all alone there she got mad at me when I told her I didn't want her to rub castor oil on my ear anymore because I was having it conditioned and the castor oil smells so awful. And on Sundays, Grandma still wants me to go to church with her. It's so boring. We have to walk to church and back. It's miles in the hot sun. I can't walk on the gravel road in my heels. If a parent passed and saw me there among all the country bumpkins, I would die and grandma says I am far too young to be wearing ears, even little ones. And I tell grandma I am not young anymore. I will be entering high school next term and everybody is wearing heels. She criticizes everything I do as if I am still a baby. And she doesn't like me wearing lip gloss or blusher, though I tell her you allow me to wear them. And grandma still wants me to come and greet all her friends. It's so boring as soon as somebody comes to the house, she calls me and I have to drop whatever I am doing, even watching TV, and I have to say hello to all these stupid people. It's so boring, mom. You wouldn't believe it. There's nobody but black people where grandma lives, and they don't know anything. They ask such silly questions, and they are dirty. You know this girl, Pearly, I used to play with when I was little? She is so awful looking, going on the road with her clothes all torn up, and you should see her little brothers always dirty and in rags with their noses running. I can't st stand to have them around me and pearly and everybody is always begging me for clothes and things and I can't stand it so I don't even bother to go outside the house half the time. When anybody comes, I can see them through the louvers and I just pretend I am not there or I am sleeping. And everybody is just having babies without being married, like Pearlie's mother, and they are not ashamed. The worst ones are those two sisters, Eula Lee and Irma Dean. You can't imagine how many children they have between them. A new one every year, and Grandma says not a man to mind them. But Mummy, something terrible happened. That Eula Lee and I got into an argument. She is so ignorant and I told her it was a disgrace to have babies without being married. And she said, who says? And I said, everybody. My mommy and Grandma Elaine and Grandma Del for a start. And she said, Grandma Del? Yes. You ever hear that she is without sin, must cast the first stone? And I said, who do you mean? And she said, ask your granny Del, Miss High and Mighty, since her son turned big shot and all. Ask her who is his father, and why she never turned teacher, and why her daddy almost turned her out of the house and never speak to her for five years, and why they take so long to let her into mother's union. And Eulalie wouldn't tell me any more and they were so awful to me, they started singing. Before I married and go hug up mango tree, I will live so me one. You know that song, mommy? I went home to ask Grandma Del what Eulalie meant by mommy. When I got home, it was just weird. I got so scared that I got this terrible pain in my tummy. My tummy hurt so much, I 
couldn't ask Grandma Dell anything, and then when I felt better, I couldn't bring myself to say anything, for I'm scared Grandma Dell will get mad. But Mommy, do you think Grandma Dell had Daddy without getting married? Is that what you really meant? Mommy, wouldn't that make Daddy a bastard? Mommy, please don't send me to stay with Auntie Rita in clear water again. Ever. Nothing, Mommy. It's that Maureen. She doesn't like me. Mommy, am I really a nigger? That's what Maureen said when we were playing one day. And she got mad at me and she said, You're only a goddamn nigger. You don't know any better. Auntie Evie, Auntie Evie married a big black man and you're his child and you're not fit to play with me. Mommy, I gave her such a box that she fell and I didn't care. I cried and cried and though Auntie Rita spanked Maureen afterwards and sent her to bed without any supper, I couldn't eat my supper for I had this pain in my tummy, such a terrible pain. And Uncle Rob came into the bedroom and held my hand and said that Maureen was a naughty girl, and he was ashamed of her, and he thought I was very beautiful, lovely girl. But mommy, how can I be beautiful? My skin is so dark, darker than yours, and Maureen's, and Jason's, and Auntie Rita's, and my hair is so coarse, not like yours or Maureen's, but then Maureen's father is white. Is that why Maureen called me a nigger? I hate Maureen. She is fat and ugly and still wearing braces. Mommy, why can't I have straight hair like Maureen? I'm so ashamed of my hair. I simply can't go back to clear water. Mom, I don't care what Dad says. I can't go to stay with Grandma Dell this summer because the charm course is for three weeks and then remember Towser is taking me to Ochi for three weeks in a new cottage. Do you think Tozer is going to marry Mr. Blake? Then I am going with you to Atlanta. You promised. So I really don't have any time to spend with Grandma this summer. And next holidays, remember you said I can go to Venezuela on the school trip. I don't know what that is on about because if he feels so strongly, why doesn't he go and spend time with his mother? Only that's a lot because Daddy doesn't have time for anybody anymore i mean is there ever time no nowadays when he is at home i know grandma Dell is getting old and she is all alone but she won't miss me she quarrels with me all the time i am there mom i just can't fit in fit in and that is that